bed. And after bed comes worst. And the mouth, mm -hmm. huh? And the smell. Ah, crazy. The better one. And of course, I just asked the owner when did it start? He said this morning. He saw it this morning. Today in the morning. This is a better one and already I want a woman. Two and a half kilo German Shepherd. I'm sure they bought this dog for fifteen, twenty thousand dollars here. What is like three hundred dollar? And then they are just left to rot. The person that brought them is from Gambia or from West Africa or from where? Or Nigeria? What is? What nationality is that guy? Yes. Tubab? Tubab, yes. This is the proof. Gambia sucks the brain out of people. Maybe they arrive with some idea, with some good intentions whatever, at the moment they arrive here. It's finished. Zero. People ask me why I want to leave. Because there's no hope. Sorry, Fata. It's true. It's true. When I came here, I thought it would be a place where you can do something, where you can achieve things. Hmm? And I think we achieved a little bit, but there's no hope in the long run. No hope. Zero hope. And you told him it's mango worms when he dropped the dogs, and he said, No, he doesn't think so, or what did he say? Because that's what he told me on the phone, and he doesn't think it's mango worms. I told him there's mango worms. He said there's white things. White things? Mm -hmm. And I just realized that this is mango worms. White things on the and face. He said, I just saw it this morning, and it's not eating. No. Today. I've tell, told him when the dog is not eating, the next thing is to check if it's breathing. Because if it's not breathing, maybe it's just dead. It saves a lot of hassle. And why do these people always have to have a German Shepherd? They cannot. If they had a Gambian dog, maybe there would be a chance that these animals survive it. But why a German Shepherd? Huh? The most useless, maybe together with Alaskan Malamutes, whatever bullshit. <sighs> disaster, disaster. Really, normally anybody who comes to the Gambia. Before they are allowed to have a dog, they have to work with us one week. Press mango worms and all these shitty cases. Or at least we fill the smell in bottles and everybody who takes the dog has to sleep with the mango worm scent in its nose for a week.
too. Honestly, it's not possible. This is not possible. Huh? This is not possible. What? We are doing this for the last, I don't know, 12 years and this... It's not possible. You have to actually force the animal, maybe put it in a shoebox or something to become so infested because... This is not possible. Number two. I honestly think if I sedate this one, she's going to not wake up again. Maybe it's the right decision, honestly, because it's not possible. It's not. It's not possible. <sighs> now we have to sedate her. This must be so damn painful. I think there are 500 mango worms on the mm -hmm. face. Huh? 500 on the face, in the puppy. Another 500 on the feet. No words. You always think we've seen the worst, huh? Mm -hmm. Bob, I think up to now, Bob from Bigelow was the worst case that we had. The one that we soaked outside. And then this. Should I try? I think she's sleeping a little bit. Where to start? Oh, no, it's not sleeping enough. Ah, the smell. See, at this stage you cannot even press anymore because the skin is not not existing anymore, it's just holds. Press one finger inside. Like inside. Inside the mouth, yeah. To put pressure from inside. No, don't put your thumb there. Just the thumb on the side. You see, it's not possible to take it out. You know, you're just pressing worm against worm. There's no more skin. There's no resistance where you can press against it and honestly I 
Honestly, it's not even fair to let her wake up from this ordeal. If you let me call the owner, we put this on the one. It's not to the way that we, we cannot even, it's not possible. They're just no. Everything is just completely eaten up. No. And when she, it's, this is, she's not, it's not possible to survive this. Look at, huh? Look, this. Let me call the guy. We're giving up. There's no chance that this dog is going to survive this. Zero chance. Maybe if she had come three, four days ago, but of course the owner said he only saw it this morning that there was a problem. No chance. Anything we do from here is only to make her suffer more. That's a good sign. I think he will be alright. But he needs to go back to the same owner.